This is what the inside of the FTIR microscope looks like. There's a power supply up here on the left side, and then a lot of this other mirrors and such on the left side are to control the IR beam and laser from go either going into the microscope or being blocked. There's a little mirror at the base here that moves when you switch to the infrared light. There's also little belts that switch mirrors back and forth at the base, so when you turn on the view light, actually in the base here, you can see that a belt moves the mirror back and forth underneath the microscope. When you turn the lights on and on with the toggles in the front of the microscope, you can see them on the side here. You can also see the MCTA detector in the back. When we analyze the sample on the FTIR microscope, we choose the spot that we wish to analyze using an aperture. We can choose the shape and the size. This is the aperture, and you can see you move the little sides of the aperture back and forth to change the spot size. 